So today we're gonna make plant-based fish sticks, but I couldn't figure out exactly which was the best method. So I wanted to go through a few different methods of making fish to make these fish sticks. So we're gonna make three different fish sticks. We're gonna make one fish stick out of bamboo shoots. We're gonna make another set of fish sticks out of banana blossoms, which happen to be one of my favorite vegan fish. And then we're gonna make another fish stick using tofu, which is probably the most popular. All three of these are gonna be really simple. They're all gonna involve the same exact methods of preparation. And in the end, we're gonna have three different products that we'll be able to figure out which one's actually the best. Okay, so the first step is to drain and rinse your bamboo shoots and your banana blossoms. Both of them need to be drained and rinsed. Now the banana blossoms are gonna be pretty much ready to go for the next step. So we're just gonna set these aside for just this second. And now we're gonna prep our bamboo shoots and tofu. Now for the bamboo shoots, really all we want to do is get some strips. We essentially wanna make like the fish flakes. We're gonna layer these up like a lasagna, but you'll see here in a second. So just cut off, you know, maybe a little less than quarter of an inch thick little strips out of the bamboo shoots. And I think you're gonna end up with some really nice layering effects once we go to put these all together. Okay, so the banana blossoms, the bamboo shoots, and the tofu is all prepped. The bamboo shoots are actually, I think they're gonna be perfect. It's like that nice, it almost looks like the flakiness of a fish. Even when you look at it like closely, there's lines that kind of go through it. I mean, and it really has that natural kind of fish-like look. Okay, so we're gonna make the same brine with the same kind of binding elements across all of these. These are all gonna have the same flavor, the same binders, the same thing that's gonna kind of hold the little fish pieces together. Uh, the way that we're gonna do that, we're gonna start with two cups of water. I'm gonna do a half of a cup of white vinegar. Now I'm gonna squeeze two lemons. All we're gonna do is just roll them, slice them and squeeze them in. And I'm not squeezing these too hard because the back end of a lemon gets pretty bitter and I just want the sweet citrus side of that. And then you can use these to clean your dishwasher disposal. Now at this point, we just need some capers with their caper brine. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of the caper brine with you know some capers. I still have these capers, but I'm just gonna let the brine kind of go through. And then what we're gonna do is just kind of chop up some of the capers. You know, it's probably about like a half of a teaspoon worth. Now we just want about a half of a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm gonna make sure you're using sea salt because fish is from the sea. Uh, and about a half of a teaspoon of kelp. Then lastly, I'm just gonna sprinkle in just a pinch of celery salt, celery seasoning. It's really gonna give these a nice fishy taste. Yeah, that's nice and fishy. I like that flavor. It's like bright, has like a nice kind of like seafood taste to it, but also has like a little bit of that vinegary taste and a little bit of that like lemony taste. It's gonna really kind of bring a lot of this together. I know it doesn't sound like it, but it will. Okay, so for the binders, I'm gonna be using some potato starch and wheat gluten. I think that's gonna make a really good binder to this without like messing up the texture. So I'm gonna use about three tablespoons potato starch. So when I was originally making this, I did one tablespoon of potato starch, but then I realized like pretty quickly after that I needed to add more. So I just kept, I added like another tablespoon and added another tablespoon. Uh, so then I just said three tablespoons potato starch just to make it so that way I could just drop it in. But when I was doing that edit, it was just like, so I'm gonna use about three tablespoons potato starch. It just didn't fit and I just needed to add this so you knew if you caught that weird edit. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of quickly whisk this in because it is gonna clump a little bit, but, but potato starch isn't as bad as other starches as far as clumping. It will kind of like break out and settle and and hold on its own versus like a cornstarch, which if you dumped a cornstarch in there, it'd just be clump city. And I also wanna whisk in a tablespoon of gluten flour. Now I wanna be whisking when I'm putting this in because the gluten flour will clump. Half teaspoon xanthan gum. Now that the binders are all whipped in, this is kind of thicker. It has about the consistency of like a runny egg yolk. I'm gonna do just about a teaspoon of some of our Brightland olive oil and just kind of whip that in. This should be nice and thick. The olive oil is just gonna add a little bit of flavor. This is not going to emulsify, but it's just gonna add some of that good olive oil flavor and give this mixture some fat like fish would have. Did you know that 70% of olive oils in supermarkets don't meet industry standards? And that's why I wanted to tell you about today's sponsor, Brightland. Brightland oils are bottled fresh with absolutely no preservatives or fillers. And they have a rigorous standard of handcrafted ingredients, meaning that their products are healthier and tastier thanks to their commitment to organic practices that use no pesticides. For today's video, they sent me the Luminous Capsule Package. 
The Luminous package comes with their Parasol Champagne Vinegar, which is really good. That's what we're using in today's video, along with their Awake Olive Oil. And the Awake just has that like really nice, like earthy, kind of like hearty feeling to it. It's a really nice, rich olive oil. Mm. I mean, it's so good. And since this package specifically is a gift for my parents, sorry mom and dad, I'm giving away one of your gifts already, it comes with Brightlands California Honey. So gang, try Brightland now. Get 10% off when you click the link in the description and get your Luminous package. Everybody's gonna love this one as a gift. Everybody's gonna love Brightland olive oils and their vinegars. This is really a great gift for anybody that cooks or just anybody that likes food in general. <laughs> Thanks Brightland. I always love your olive oils. They really are the greatest. Okay, so at this point we have our banana blossom. Now our banana blossom, if you buy it in the can, like what I had, you're gonna get it and it's gonna come out like strips, just like this. We need to press it into a form, like a block, to have like a filet. So the way to do that is I'm gonna take these pieces and kind of lie them together and then dip them into our broth. This is going to give us that filet and it should give us that really nice flaky fish texture, inconsistent flaky fish texture, just like a real fish would be. And I think, I think once this is all pressed together, that we should have, that we should be able to cut out some nice fish sticks. I think they'll be pretty nice once they're frozen. And essentially all we're gonna do is repeat that same process across the banana blossoms and on the bamboo shoots. Okay, so we have our three fish fillets prepared. Uh, we just need to throw them in the fridge. The, the bamboo shoots came out great. It's looking like a bamboo shoot au gratin, minus the cheese, just a kind of disturbingly slimy consist consistency. Tofu's looking good. Let's throw these in the freezer until they're all pretty firm. We wanna get them, I mean, they don't have to be frozen solid, but they have to be frozen pretty, un they have to be frozen enough to where we're gonna be able to cut sticks out of these. Uh, so maybe about two hours or so. Let's get them thrown in. Okay, so now our fish sticks are pretty much ready to roll. They're frozen. We'll pull them out of the freezer here in a second. But for right now, let's get our batter ready. So we're gonna start by filling a Dutch oven with some cooking oil. Use the cooking oil of your choice. I personally just like using vegetable oil or peanut oil for this situation. Uh, so for me, I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of vegan butter, and I'm just gonna melt this really quickly. Now we're just gonna add about a half of a cup of water to that butter, and then about a half of a cup of just egg, vegan egg, or any of your egg replacers, vegan egg replacer. We're gonna wanna use about a half of a cup of vegan egg, so I would say that's gonna be about um, three tablespoons. So about two and a half eggs worth of egg replacer. Now in one bowl, we're gonna do about one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're just using about, it doesn't have to be perfect. And in a second bowl, we're gonna be using about one and a half cups of plant-based panko mix. This is the Progresso plant-based panko mix, which doesn't seem to have any sort of uh, milk or dairy in it, so I believe it's 100% vegan. Now these are fish sticks, so we want the breading to be well seasoned. So I'm gonna do some Old Bay in the flour mixture, a decent amount, and a decent amount of Old Bay in the panko mixture. Just kind of give these a nice whisk together. So I really should have oiled these, uh, these dishes that I used. Uh, I didn't really think that part through. But, oh, it looks like it is coming out better than what I thought. So at this point, just one at a time, because you don't want these to thaw, we're just gonna cut these into fish stick shapes. All we wanna do is just dip these into the flour and then into our egg mixture, and then from the egg mixture, right into the breadcrumbs, and then just toss. And it's okay if you wanna do flour, egg, flour, egg, because then you'll have like a little double batter, but then you should have a nice looking fish stick. Let's just keep moving forward. We're gonna get all of these done and then we'll move on to the bamboo shoots and tofu. These fish sticks are gonna be amazing. I can't wait to get these fried. Throw them in the fryer, let them golden up, nice and golden brown fish sticks. I mean, just look at these things. They look amazing. 
All we need for fish sticks is some tartar sauce. So we just have a little bit of vegan mayo. I'm gonna do about just a small squirt of agave. We're just gonna add some lemon juice to that. Tear up some dill, you know, until it looks good. That's really all it is. And then we're gonna add some dill relish. Mix this together and you should have a nice sweet and tangy vegan tartar sauce. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get these tasted. Okay, and I mean, here we go, baby. Look at our fish sticks. They look amazing. Now to go on top of it, we have some vegan tartar sauce, we have some vegan lemons that you can <laughs> squirt over your vegan fish, and Not let's nice. get tasting. Let's grab the banana blossoms first. Okay, can I squirt the lemon over? Yeah, squirt some lemon, baby. I'm gonna do this one. Some vegan lemon. Cheers. Cheers. Fish sticks, dip your fish sticks. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Love it. This is really good. Wow, okay. So it's a little soft, it's flaky, and it's mm -hmm. a little soft, so I would say it's kind of like a, I don't know, a sea bass kind of fish. Okay, okay. Um, that would be a great fish stick, a sea bass. Yeah. It's not like the, you know, the firm fish that you, you know, you usually would expect from, right? Isn't it usually firm like a fish stick? For a fish stick consistency, this is really nice. So now let's compare these to our bamboo shoots. Okay. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. This is wow. also really good. I feel like it has a more of a bite to it. Yeah. Um, just as flaky. I still feel like the banana blossom is great. Like, I wouldn't say this is like like ten times like, oh my god, this is like so much more like fish. I would say like this is just a little bit more like fish, but like well, you know. This is first right now. Yeah, and I agree. Yeah. And it's first. I just think that it's not like an extreme difference, but it's definitely above the banana blossom. Lastly, tofu. <laughs> <laughs> mm, doesn't win. <laughs> Last place. The funny thing is, you know this, this is what everybody uses. This is way too soft. And it doesn't have a bite. There's no flakiness. There's no. Yeah, it's so soft that the flakiness mm -hmm. isn't there. Yeah, I can see it, but I don't it's prefer so it. It's so good. I like it. I actually really like it. Not bad. So. These two, bamboo, bamboo shoots. shoots. It's the way to go. I don't have a whole lot of other fish videos, but go ahead and click this video right here. This is the video that YouTube thinks that you're gonna like. If I would have, remember what I said in the beginning about cutting it thinner? Mm -hmm. If I would have cut it thinner, it would have been 